So, uh, today we're doing a Reddit reading for Today I Fucked Up. And at the end of the video, I'll be giving my own time that I indeed fucked up. Uh, so yeah. Earlier this, oh wait, I gotta click on it, I'm stupid. My bad. We're gonna read the top two posts from Today I Fucked Up. And then I'll get my own Today I Fucked Up. Today I fucked up by buying everyone an Ancestry DNA kit and ruining Christmas. Oh, And this got fuck up of the month. Earlier this year, Ancestry DNA had a sale on their kit. I thought it would be a great gift idea, so I bought six of them for Christmas presents. Today, my family got together to exchange presents for our Christmas Eve tradition, and I gave my mom, dad, brother, and two sisters each a kit. As soon as everyone opened their gift at the same time, my mom started freaking out. She told us how she didn't want us taking them because they had unsafe chemicals. We explained to her how there were actually no chemicals, but we could tell she was still flustered. Later, she tried to, started trying to tell, uh, convince us that the only one of us kids needs to take it since we will all have the same results and to resell extra kids to save money. Fast forward. Our parents have been fighting upstairs for the past hour and we are downstairs trying to figure out who has a different dad. Too long didn't read. I bought everyone in my family Ancestry DNA kit for Christmas. My mom started freaking. Now our parents are fighting and my dad not, might not be my dad. Update. Thank you all so much for the love and support. My sisters, brother, and I have not yet decided if we are going to take the test. No matter what the results are, we still love each other and our parents, no matter what. Update 2. Christmas isn't ruined. My fuck-up actually turned into a Christmas miracle. Turns out my sister's father passed away shortly after she was born. A good friend of my mom's was able to help her through the darkest time in her life, and they went on to fall in love and create the rest of our family. She never told us because of how hard it was for my mom. Last night, she was strong enough to share stories and photos with us for the first time, and it truly brought us even closer together as a family. This is a Christmas we will never forget, and yes, we are all excited to get our test results. Merry Christmas, everyone. P.S. Sorry my mom isn't a whore. No, you're not my daddy. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a good... Oh, that... <laughs> Uh, today I fucked up by living in a dark bedroom for six years. The overhead fan in our bedroom uses one of those compact halogen light bulbs. Six years ago, the bulb burned out and got really dim, just barely a glow. I bought a replacement bulb, but when I put that one in, it was also barely lighting up, so I realized the unit was bad. The fan still worked great. It literally is the best fan I've ever had because it moves a ton of air and is super quiet. The fan had also been a gift when we moved into our house. The unit cost over 400 bucks, so I didn't really want to replace it, even though our bedroom doesn't get much natural light, so it is pretty dark. So since then, over the years, my wife and I have had to make do with no overhead light. We open the windows during the day, and at night use a combination of bedside lamps and the bathroom light. It's never really as good of lighting as an overhead lamp, so I keep some flashlights up there for when we are cleaning our room or looking for something. After six years of living in the dark, this winter I just decided I would replace the damn thing. But before I did that, I decided to try one last time with another bulb because, however unlikely it's possible, both bulbs I had tried were bad. So I'm up there installing the new bulb, grab the remote, the fan is a remote, and as I'm turning the light on, I realize the goddamn thing is dimmable. For six fucking years, we lived with the inconvenience of no overhead light, and the whole time it was just because the damn thing was set to dim. Fuck me. That's rough, dude. <laughs> I can imagine me doing that, though. You just, like, sit there, six years go by, and you're like, Oh, yeah, I didn't have to live like this at all. Do that. Today, I fucked up by spending the last year on Reddit talking to myself after being muted. What? Today was the day I realized I messed up by not realizing sooner and just thinking my content was shit. For the last 12 months, I've been commenting on people's posts. I've created my own posts. I haven't had a single upvote or reply to anything. My karma has been at 885 for as long as I can remember. So I just figured I wasn't very interesting. Still likely true. Last month, I started to try and see my own posts through guest accounts and figured out they weren't showing. I could still clearly see my comments and posts on my account. Anyway, I finally mailed the help team and found out my IP was accidentally mixed in with some action to take out spammers. If you can see this, it's all sorted out now. And if you can't, I'm still in my own little Truman show. 
If you're procrastinating, and let's face it, you are, feel free to go through my post history and verify the lack of any human engagement. Too long didn't read. I was muted one year ago and didn't notice. Since then, I've spent the whole time thinking how boring I must be because nobody replies or updutes me. Edit. So I've gone from castaway to a full room of people handing me little arrows. Wilson and I, thank you. Two, this is crazy. Thanks to everyone for all the jewels and things I know nothing about. I'll figure it out and pay it forward. Special thanks to those that are answering my unanswered questions from previous posts. MVPs. Please don't be too sad about this. I find it kind of funny that I've been such an idiot for so long. It's okay to laugh with slash at me. Three, Reddit is awesome. I've missed you guys. Don't feel mad at the mods. It's a tough and thankless job and flutters slash bots are a real pain in the ass. It's just one of those things and I thank them for putting in the hours. I also want to use this very brief soapbox to raise awareness for mental health. Mo that's good. Most of us here use Reddit as an escape. Some people have fewer friends IRL than they do on the net. Make sure each other are okay every once in a while. If someone goes missing, like for more than a month, if you see someone struggling, send them a message of support. Even a stranger can help. I love all of you weirdos. Edit four, no more, I promise. I'm completely overwhelmed by the response and the nice feedback. I'm trying to answer all of these questions, but it's difficult to keep up. I created an AMA when this trend, when this thread went down. If you relate to any of the topics close to me, like diabetes, gaming, mental health, parenting, etc., then keep in touch. Here's a shameless pic of me with the best doggo in the world and authentication for mods. He listens to me even when you guys don't. And listen, Imger, stop giving me gold. I appreciate it, but give to charity and said, here's something different we could do. Oh, that's so good. That's really good. This must have happened to my Tinder account. <laughs> Okay. Well, now it's time for my own little uh, today I fucked up story. Let's, uh... So, uh, NSFW warning ahead. Um, but, well, I guess it's right not really not safe for work, but regardless. So, I am in, what, ninth grade? I'm, I get, or no, 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 no. This was actually senior year. I'm wrong because I, I was voted as best dancer in the school because of the fact that I danced on the float with a pimp cane and a rainbow shirt. And had a lot of fun. I didn't stop dancing for an hour and a half. It was the math club float, by the way. But, uh, the today I fucked up part is when, when upon, whereupon I went and went to take the photos, that day I was wearing skinny jeans that were too small for me because I didn't have that many pairs of jeans. I didn't come from that much money so I kind of wore clothes for longer than I was really supposed to but regardless had a blast uh, went to go and take the photos the girls taking the photos are two girls that I really fucking like or no one of them is a girl I really fucking like one of them is my ex-girlfriend who I had broken up with two weeks prior who was head of the yearbook committee Ah, so kind of awkward there. And the girl that I was taking the photo with was a girl that I had a crush on. It was like head of the cheerleading everything and really, really awkward for me because I'm wearing clothes that don't fit me around all these girls that I obviously had feelings for at some point. Uh, thereupon, I... Uh, Go to do a handstand like they tell me because they're trying to get us posed. And I blow a really, really loud fart in front of them. And <laughs> the part that's just the worst is the <laughs> one of the girls that I liked that was taking the picture, the one that I hadn't previously dated asked, did you just fart? And I went, uh, n no. 
And I thought that I could lie my way out of that. I could not. Let me just tell you. And every once in a while when I'm going to sleep at night, I remember that. That little embarrassing thing in my head, I remember that. It pops back up. I remember that I farted. I blew my ass in front of girls that I had a crush on. And now that's going to be on the internet. I swear to God, if this goes viral, this is going to be the end of my life. But we're at the end of the video. You know what it's time for. I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe. Uh, I don't know what percentage of my uh, viewers are subscribed because I'm not big enough to know that. But you can help me get there by subscribing and liking this video for YouTube's algorithm. Send it out there. I try and make daily content for everybody. I try and stream it also. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, throw a like and a subscribe down below. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.